when the Duke and Duchess of Sussex welcome their firstborn this spring, the baby will become one of the most famous people in the world. But with Harry and Meghan counting down the days until the birth, speculation is mounting over whether the child will be given a HRH title. I can reveal that the excited parents-to-be have not yet been given permission by the Queen for their children to be styled as his or her royal highness. Due to a declaration by King George V more than a century ago, only the eldest son of the eldest son of the Prince of Wales is entitled to the honour. Any other great-grandchildren of the monarch have to be granted titles. In December 2012, using letters patent, a method by which the sovereign can give orders without involving Parliament, the Queen announced that all of William and Kate's children would be HRH, not just the eldest son. But with just weeks until the birth of Harry and Meghan's first child, the couple have not yet received such a decree. One of the most likely reasons is that Harry, 34, has been outspoken in the past about wanting his children to live a normal life. The prince said in 2017, I am determined to have a relatively normal life, and if I am lucky enough to have children they can have one too. We don't want to be just a bunch of celebrities but instead use our role for good. It is also understood that Prince Charles wants a smaller royal family. Charles might have decided only the children of his eldest son are to be HRH, a royal source says. If the Sussexes have a son, the boy will have the surname Mountbatten Windsor and be known as the Earl of Dumbarton, the Duke of Sussex's secondary Scottish title. A daughter will be Lady Mountbatten Windsor. Princess Anne's children Peter and Zara were not automatically given a HRH. Despite the Queen offering to give them the title, Anne and her then-husband Mark Phillips declined. Ewan McGregor may want to avert his gaze now. His daughter Esther, dressed in the bright yellow swimming costume, has just turned 17 and already she has teamed up with big sister Clara, to post scantily clad photos online to promote her raunchy new pop video. The Star Wars actor, 47, might want to close his ears to, because the lyrics are enough to make one blush. I love it when your fingers touch my waist. Your fingers linger when you stroke my face, she trills. A funny friendship for Fergie. I've witnessed some strange show business friendships over the years, but few quite as unlikely as the one between Sarah Ferguson and Zoolander star Ben Stiller. The pair are thought to have met through the charity Brilliant is Beautiful, which provides scholarships to young girls. They got together at an event for the charity in Dubai last month. Sadly, despite them both being single, I'm assured there is no romance on the cards. Meanwhile, Fergie, 59, has set up a production company to make historical dramas based on women. Surf's up. And Mike's down. Mike Tindall really must try harder at surfing because while he was awarded an MBE by his in-laws for his efforts on the rugby pitch, he isn't a natural at all sports, as my pictures show. The former England captain, 40, who is married to the Queen's granddaughter Zara, lost his balance and plunged into the water while holidaying on Australia's Gold Coast. Perhaps stick to dry land in future, Mike. Sir Rod Stewart says his one chance to crack Hollywood was snatched away from him. By his rival Elton John. Rod, 73 was offered the part of the pinball wizard in the 1975 film Tommy, but tells me, Elton told me not to, and he got the part.